Well, throughout the pandemic and beyond, we have seen how much effort doctors and nurses put into treating their patients. Yeah, they sure have, and that can take a lot out of them, physically and emotionally. Critzia Williams shows us how a new program is meant to help. It is, it's, it's, it is pride that I can say I can wear scrubs and, and go in and help patients. Scrubs have been a long-term fashion staple for ICU nurse Jennifer Mislang, 29 years to be exact. Her roots run deep at Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center as she spent her mom's last moments by her bedside. There was a lot of compartmentalizing. When I was with her, I was with her, and then when I was at work, kind of tried to put it away, which is a lot, what a lot of nurses do. Leaning on her co-worker, she tells me mentally she was not doing well. She says the COVID-19 pandemic had a similar effect on many healthcare workers. As a result, Roswell Park has created Code Lavender. Available to anybody to call when there is um, stressful times. Miss Len says employees can fill out a form that looks like this and the resiliency team will find the best help for each situation. We sometimes overlook the fact that those who are taking care need to be taken care of too. Jessica Visser is the vice president of patient care services at Mercy Hospital. Our nurses, you know, are, are so they get caught up in that and they get caught up in, you know, being what they can to our patients and providing what our patients need. And sometimes they're the last person that they think about. So we know that uh, we're at our best when our whole self is cared for, body, mind, and spirit. According to the American Nurses Association, 30% of nurses experience anxiety, depression, or even suicidal challenges. And that's exactly why Mercy Hospital has resources like spiritual care, employee assistant programs, and a partnership with Credible Mind for 24-hour service, all while offering financial help where needed. People find themselves in financial hardship or crisis, our caregivers. We have what's called the, uh, the Helping Hands Fund. Alyssa Hamill is the Psychiatric Nursing Program Director at the University at Buffalo. She says a lot of mental health recognition starts in the classroom. We really need to focus on providing education and trauma-informed care. You know, we cannot go through life just caring about um, our solely our physical health. Um, taking care of your mental health, I think, is one of the things that will help sustain health care providers. Miss Len says Code Lavender is a step in the right direction, and she hopes the health care industry continues to grow when it comes to mental health resources. Critzia Williams, 7 News, Buffalo.